All right, this is the uh, video for drafting out the toolbox. Uh, I'm going to go kind of quick, and if you need to slow down, you can just pause and record. All right, there's actually not a um, document that has all the sizes for this one. So if you wanted to do it, you could either, either measure your actual parts if you wanted to do it without the video, or you could um, just watch this video. Um, but there's not a, a sheet like there was with the speaker that had all the sizes for you. So anyway, when it opens up, I'm going to delete the dude there. And I'm just going to draw the bottom and the two sides, and then I'll add the ends, and then I'll add the handle. So that bottom piece was six inches by five and a half inches. So I'm going to click my origin. I'm going to go along the green, uh, six, enter. If it looks like it's not drawn or it's drawn real small, you probably just need to zoom. Okay, then I'm going to go over on the red, five and a half. Okay, that looks way longer. I think it's just my angle. Yep, there we go. Uh, back on the green, six. Close it up. Push pull. I'm going to make it three fourths thick, so 0.75. All right, so there's my bottom. Then I'm going to draw my sides. So I'm going to click here, up the blue, 3.5. Back along the green, six. Click to close it. Push pull. Make that piece. 0.75 thick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spin around here. I'm looking at the other side. Click this corner. Up the blue. 3.5. Uh, towards me on the green. 6. Click to close it. Push pull. 0.75. Okay. So I got my bottom and my two sides. Now I need to do those ends. Uh, several ways you could do it. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go from this corner towards me on the green 0.75. Uh, over on the red it'd be 5.5. Click to close it. Now I'm going to push pull that up uh, 4.5. That's where my curve starts. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the circle tool, which I got to change rectangle to circle from the midpoint to the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to erase the bottom half of that circle. I'm going to push pull the top 0.75. All right, so there's my end. Now I need to cut out my mortise. So from the center, from the midpoint, or center, I guess it'll click the center since you have a circle there now. I'm going to click, go right, uh, 3 8 so that would be 0.325, or you could just go type 3 eighths. Okay, now you should have two spots that it can click to, uh, the center and the end point. I want the end point. And then I'll go up one inch, left on the red, 0.75, and back down to where I started. Grab my eraser and clean it up a little bit. Okay, uh, I want that mortise cut out, so I'm going to push pull it 0.75. Perfect. Um, that line's kind of bugging me. It'll get hidden later, but I just don't like it there. And I think I'm also going to delete or erase that one, that one. 
All right, you don't have to, but I just wanted to. All right, now I got to build this other side, this back side. So I'm going to come out on the green, 0.75, over on the red, 5.5, close it up, push pull, up, 4.5, circle tool, center or midpoint, out to the edge, eraser, bottom half, got to make my mortise. Uh, from the center over either way, uh, three eighths. Find the end point up one over on the red, point seven five. Back down to the line, make sure it's on the blue. Grab my eraser. Nope, don't grab your eraser yet. Push pull it first. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have done that mortise yet. Oh, well. I'll go ahead and push-pull that. And then I think I can re-outline it and get that face back. There we go. I did that kind of quick. When that face disappeared, I just clicked here and started to re-outline the shape, and it came back for me. I don't know why this face is blue, but I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to grab the eraser. And clean it up. Four bit to the inside. And clean it up. I'm going to push, push pull my mortise. Let me try this. All right, I'm going to grab my cursor, my arrow, two finger click on that, and go erase. There it went. Uh, and then that line's kind of bugging me, so I'm going to erase it. All right. Now I just got to put my handle in. Um, all right. I'm going to zoom in on this mortise. And uh, my handle, the little shoulders of that tenon, came up and down a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to click the corner, go up 0.25, um, go over on the red 0.75, and then back down to the top of my mortise. I'm going to orbit so I can kind of see both mortises at the same time. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Up on the blue, 0.25. Over on the red, 0.75. And down, 0.25. Now I'm going to connect those. There. Escape to let go of my line there. Now I think I should just be able to push pull this whole thing down an inch and a half. We'll see if it works. Push pull down 1.5. Yeah, it wouldn't let me go past that. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to come down here, 0.25 from that corner. I'm going to go over on the green, 6, and up. There, it closed it for me. Now, I think the other side is going to be hollow. Yeah. So let's draw that out. Uh, bottom corner of my mortise down 0.25 over on the green six back up to here now i'm pretty sure the bottom of this handle is hollow but no one's ever going to see it so i'm just going to leave it alone uh, and then 
I actually want that to come back out to here uh, where I deleted that. So I'm just going to re-outline the mortise so that my handle comes out there kind of like it's supposed to. And I'm calling that good. There's my toolbox. Kind of center it up, get a good angle where you can see everything, save it, take a screenshot, put the screenshot in your class folder, and you are good to go.